Hey everyone, I'm gonna to talk to you today about one of the things that I do uh, when I'm in trial or in court for a hearing that a lot of other lawyers do not do. Um, and that is to give and make a closing argument. So a lot of time, and judges really don't like it when the lawyers make closing arguments. Closing argument is what happens at the very end of a case, after both sides have put up their evidence and heard from all of their witnesses. And then there's the opportunity to make your final closing statements. And most judges, when we go to seminars, will say, hey, we don't need to hear your closing argument. We've already decided. And a lot of lawyers recognizing that will say, okay, well, I will waive argument and submit on the evidence. I don't ever do this. And the reason is that closing argument is the time when I get to show my client everything that we have done, that we tie up the whole case um, and make our final last statement as to why our position should win. Um, and I think that it is a disservice to the client not to make a closing statement because they need to hear that their lawyer is, is finishing the drill for them, is taking all the way through. So I say, even if it's not judge's favorite thing to sit there and listen to me make my final summation, it's important um, that I show my client uh, more than anything, that I am not giving up until I have done absolutely everything that I am permitted by law to do. So lots of lawyers will waive closing argument. I will almost never waive closing argument at the conclusion of a case or hearing.